in this question there is a three phase load of 40 kilowatts operating at 380 volts having a power factor of 0.8 lagging receives its power through a three phase auto transformer from a 440 volts three phase power supply the auto transformer is connected in a star the neutral of the auto transformer is not grounded we have to neglect the exciting current and the impedance of the transformer winding and in the first part we have to draw the diagram depicting the above situation in the second part we have to calculate the currents entering the load from the auto transformer in the third part we have to calculate the currents entering the transformer from the supply side in the fourth part we have to show the currents flowing in the transformer windings along with the directions in this question there is a three phase load of 40 kilowatt operating at 380 volts having a power factor of 0.8 lagging so this one is the three phase load which is drawing 40 kilowatt real power operating at 380 volts and having a lagging power factor of 0.8 there is a three phase auto transformer and this three phase auto transformer is fed with the 440 volt three phase supply so remember this 440 volts is the line to line voltage of the three phase auto transformer it is also given that this transformer is connected in a star so i i have connected all the windings in a star and it is given that neutral is not grounded so this one is the neutral and this neutral is not grounded we have to neglect exciting current it means we have to neglect the shunt branches of the transformer and also we have to neglect the impedance of the transformer binding it means that there is no resistance and reactance in the transformer winding so here you can see that this one is the three phase auto transformer and this three phase auto transformer is feeding this load so there must be connection between the three phase auto transformer and three phase load so how to draw the connection you can understand it by this diagram in this diagram you can easily make the interconnection between the three phase auto transformer and three phase load so these are the red lines showing the interconnection between the three phase auto transformer and three phase load i think it is clear to you it is given in the problem that this three phase load is drawing 40 kilowatt real power let me tell you one thing here that uh, it is not given in the problem that this three phase load is connected in a star or delta so it does not matter whether this load is connected in a star or delta let there be any connection we can solve the problem so it is given that this three phase load is drawing 40 kilowatt real power and operating at 380 volts having a having a power factor of 0.8 lagging for the three phase load we can use this formula p equals to root 3 vi cos phi we know the value of p v and cos phi and we can calculate the current the current drawn by the three phase load will be 75.97 ampere I have written this current as I naught. See this I naught means the output current of the auto transformer. Of course, this I naught is 
the current drawn by the three phase load this i naught is the current drawn by the three phase load and also this i naught is the output current of this three phase auto transformer so the current drawn by three phase load is 75.97 ampere and this 75.97 ampere will flow in this line and in this line too now if you see this auto transformer because it is given in the question that we have to neglect the exciting current we have to neglect the impedance of the transformer winding it means that we can use the complex power balance technique here the input complex power to the auto transformer is equal to output complex power of the auto transformer so let me use the technique of complex power balance so this is the input complex power of the three phase auto transformer and this one is the output complex power of the three phase auto transformer you can write root 3 v input i input conjugate equals to root 3 v output i output conjugate root 3 and root 3 will be cancelled and you will get this equation v input i input conjugate equals to v output i output conjugate I have already told you that the output current of this auto transformer is 75.97 ampere. So this output current is 75.97 ampere. Let me tell you one thing here. I am taking this supply as a reference voltage. If this supply is at the is taken as a reference if this supply is taken as a reference we will write the input voltage as 440 angle 0 this is the input voltage and we have to calculate the input current so v input i input conjugate equals to v output if v input is at an angle 0 v output will also be at an angle 0 remember this point because we have neglected in the question it is written that we have to neglect the impedance of the transformer winding and we have to neglect the exciting current so this V input and V output will be in the same phase we know that this load is operating at 380 volts so we can say that the output voltage of this three phase auto transformer is 380 volts therefore I have written V naught equals to 380 angle 0 I know the current I know the output current the output current is 75.97 and as written in the question it is written in the question that this three phase load is operating at lagging power factor of 0.8 you can find out the angle the power factor angle the power factor angle will be 36.87 degrees because this three phase load is operating at lagging power factor I have written minus sign here if you take the conjugate of I naught you will get this value so easily you can get the input current the input current is 65.61 angle minus 36.87 ampere the output current is 75.97 angle minus 36.87 ampere kindly note here that the input current and the output current both the currents are in the same phase because both the currents are in the same phase while applying KCL I am not going to use the phase angles see here I have got the input current as 65.61 ampere 
the input current is 60 the input current is 65.61 ampere and this current will flow in this winding in this winding and in this winding the current in all the three windings will be 65.61 ampere angle minus 36.87 and this I naught is also 75.97 angle minus 36.87 degrees both the currents I naught and I input are in the same phase that's why I am not going to write the angle see here at this point if you apply KCL at this point you will get the current in this winding so 75.97 ampere minus 65.61 ampere is the current flowing in this winding so in this winding the current will be 10.36 ampere the same current will flow in this winding also and the same current will flow in this winding too so I think you have understood the solution of this question let me read first part of the question in the first part we have to draw the diagram depicting the above situation so this one is the diagram depicting the above situation in part B we have to calculate the currents entering the load from the auto transformer so answer of the second part is 75.97 ampere the third question is calculate the currents entering the transformer from supply side so the currents entering from supply side is 65.61 ampere now in the fourth part we have to show the currents flowing in the transformer winding along with direction so the currents flowing in the transformer winding is 10.6 uh, I am sorry the current the currents flowing in the transformer winding is 10.36 ampere and these currents will flow in the upward direction so I think this question is clear to you if you want to use the dot convention you can use this here there will be dot here it will be dot here you can mark the dot so in this way the question is complete here